In this lesson, I'll try to teach you how to distribute items properly in a slide, how to plan ahead and make sure that the viewer will be not bored by this slide. I'll start things off by inserting a rectangle shape. A simple rectangle, I'll hold the shift key and I make it to about this size in the middle. I go to shape outline, no outline, and for the color, I'll try to use a yellow color we already have in such a presentation. I'll select it from my recent colors. If you don't have this color selected, you can go to more fill colors. In RGB, it's 255, 208, and 37. All right, that's for a start. Now, some text under it, because the text alone here would look a bit boring, a bit empty, so this rectangle is really just to add some design into the left side of this composition. I'll go to insert, I'll insert my text box, and I'll write my text. Let's enter some cheesy text like how to get your, your body where it belongs. Okay, I want to have it on two or three lines depending on how big I make the font. I definitely want a bold open sans font, bold and bigger. Okay, I don't quite feel it. Let's make this on the next line, this here. Maybe the last wording a bit smaller, just so the design will be filled out, but not too extensive. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Okay, the color is too black. You need to select with the eyedropper the color we used previously. Once again, if you don't have the color, I'll show it more colors. It's 46, 58, 70. Now I'll enter a separator in the middle so we can distinguish between the left and right side. This will be very simple. I'll insert, shape, insert a line, a normal line, and by holding the shift key, I draw a perfect line. Just in the middle, somewhere about here, we can always take everything and shift it to the left if we need more space to make the composition properly designed. Okay, as for the color, we once again want this blue, so I select the blue we had a few seconds ago. Okay, I click on it. As for the outline, I click on shape outline, weight, and I definitely want this line to be bigger. Two, for example, six pixels. Okay, I'll go to the more line options. I can adjust the width here. Let's make it even over six because this will look uh, pretty nice. I see now it's too fat. I'm sorry, I'm going too far away. Maybe 5.75. Okay, as for the cap type, we want rounded caps. So it really has a nice ending here in the beginning and the end. Now we can start to prepare the right side. And this will be really simple. I will insert, shape, insert normal circles. One circle here. I'll place one inside of it. Of course, the color needs to be changed. Once again, no outline. As for the fill, the blue color. And now, now it will be important to place them in according positions. I'll, for example, make four or five steps. Let's make it four, copy it one more time. Okay, five steps. Two, three, four, five. Five steps, and if I want to be a bit more fancy, I could adjust the color of each one of them. By going to shape fill, always to more fill colors, and each step will be a bit lighter. This takes you a bit of time, but it really adds some depth into the design and it's a bit more interesting to watch for the viewer. Maybe I went too far with this color, but this all depends. This It could be just as well done dark, lighter, lighter, and then again darker. So here I'll go back to my dark colors just for fun, maybe a bit different blue. And I have prepared my first set of icons. The second thing will be text boxes with information and we could use the text we have here. I will copy this, I place it here and I want to have boxes something like this. Those boxes here on the right side, I'll copy them of course five times, place them in the appropriate places near the numbers and now I have to write some text here. You see, I am very unorganized here, so in order to make it better, I click on each of them 
and I'll once again go to align and distribute them vertically. This will make equal spaces between them and I don't have to do anything. Remember that this works, it takes the first and the last one and makes equal spaces between them. So it will not shift left and right, it will shift only up and down. Align, distribute vertically. This looks really more intact now. As for the text, you need to figure something out. It depends on what you wanted on this slide. Let's just make an example. I'll write a few example text boxes. I make the text smaller and I place the text perfectly here. I place the next text and I'll try to change either the text color or the color of the boxes. As I did previous in the format shape fill more colors and I can go lighter. More fill colors. Maybe I go a bit towards orange. This would look interesting, okay. A bit more orange fill. Where do we go here? Even more orange, a bit deep. Okay, and this last one will be even darker. So maybe it will go slightly towards red. Not too much. Okay, now I can place some text. This is how an example finished slide would look like. What are the benefits of this slide? We have no title, so we have much space for the viewer to catch the title here and immediately go here. This would be animated and each step would animate separately. We could, for example, put some icons here, but perhaps this design would be good enough. Just let's make an example and take some icons and place it here. If this would look better, sure, you can take some icons, you can make a design out of it. You can, for example, shift this so it makes more space. We have two parts in this slide and everything is clearly visible. I hope you did like this tutorial. It's not a difficult design, but it's really crucial to get the overall idea how to distribute your slide so it's really nice for the eye and understandable.